Welcome to FF Jack Gaming, where today we're going to open up two packs of Jumpstart. This is a great way to be able to jump into the game and be able to start your career into Magic the Gathering. All you need is two packs from you and your opponent to be able to take them, shuffle them up, and be able to play. This is something that's designed for both the beginners and all the way to the expert. This is a good way to ease yourself into magic and learning how to play. With that said, let's jump on the situation and see what our deck's going to be. All right, looks like we're going to be rocking some rogue action. That means it's going to be mono black. So the first cards is going to be lands because we always want to get those out of the way. But something unique about Jumpstart is they have one special land. This is a special land for Thieves. So each different set, or not each different set, each different pack is going to have a theme that's going to be around this one. This one's Rogues, but there's a bunch of different other themes that comes out of it. There's like, I think, three of each at least. So with that said, we have a Thriving More, Aaron's Battlefield Tap, and then as it enters the battlefield, we choose a color other than black. This is allowed to be able to color fix for what other color that we end up going with with the second pack. So we get to tap, add a black, or add a mana of that color that we end up choosing. Nocturnal Feeder costs two and a black for a Vampire Rogue flying. And when it dies, each opponent loses two life and we gain two life. Has a 2-1 body. Nightshade Stinger costs one black for a fairy rogue that has a 1-1 one, one body flying and it can't be blocked. Or it can't block. My bad. Last Brass costs one and a black for an instant. Target creature gets neg three, neg three until end of turn. Lawless Broker costs two and a black for Aetherborn Rogue. Has a 3-2 body. When it dies, we get to put a plus one, plus one counter on the target creature that we control. Crope's Holler costs us one and a black for a human rogue. Has a 2-1 body. Pay two and a black. Sacrifice it. Return a target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. And then we have a mass black guard. Cost is one and a black for a human rogue that has flash. That means we can play it any time that we can play any kind of spell at instant speed. Cost is two and a black. Mass guard gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Has a two, one body. Alchemist's gift costs is a black for an instant. Target creature gets plus one, plus one and gains a your choice of Death Touch or Life Link. So Death Touch means whenever it does combat damage to anything, it will be able to kill it. Life Link means whenever it's dealt combat damage, we'll be able to gain that much life. Then we have a good old fashioned stab wound that costs black and two for an enchantment. Enchanted creature gets neg two, neg two, and then at the beginning of that person's up or the enchanted creature's. Bleh. At the beginning of the upkeep of the enchanted creature's controller, that player loses two life. Woo, buddy. Rogue's Gloves costs us two for an artifact. Enchant enchantment. Equipment. Costs us two to equip it, but whenever a equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Una's Blackguard costs us one and a black for a fairy rogue who has flying. Each rogue creature that you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter. Whenever the creature that you control with a plus one plus one counter deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. And then we have the Corpse Traders. Cost us three and a black. For a human rogue, it's a 3-3 three, three body. Pay 3 and a black. Sacrifice a creature. Target opponent reveals their hand. You may choose a card from it. That player discards that card. Activate this ability any time you can cast a sorcery. It's a 3-3 three, three body. 
And then we also have the Guild Enforcer. Cost is one black for a human rogue as a 1 1 body. Has flash. Whenever an Enforcer or another rogue enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent mills two cards. Doesn't sound like much, but when you have a 40 card dex, that can end up adding up. As long as an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, the Enforcer gets plus two, plus one, and has death touch. So that would make it into a 3-2 body with it. With that nice the touch of having eight or more cards with our opponent. Alright, that's us sneaking around with some blackness. So let's see what's going to go over with this. And what we're going to open up and partner up with this to be making our deck. Oh, we're living the dream because it's going to be mono black. Oh, snap. Going down with the darkness because we have vampires. Something that could be seen in Crimson Vow. Oh, snap. That works out pretty good. The special art with seven lions all together. And then the Thrive and More enters the battlefield tapped. And as it enters the battlefield, choose a color other than black. Tap, add a black, or that chosen color. In this case, we can choose whatever color because we're mono black in this deck. Woohoo! Color fix for days. Gloom Sour costs five and two black for a whore. Oh, that's not on theme. It has its eight six body. And whenever it becomes blocked by a creature, that creature's controller loses two life and you gain two life. Hmm. Nocturnal Feeder costs two and a black for a vampire rogue. Oh man, that's got to go good with our rogues since we already have that over that way. Flying whenever it dies, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. It's a 2-1 body. Last Grasp. Oh, man. That was also in that pack. It's going to cost a black and one. For an instant, target creature gets neg three, neg three until end of turn. Internal Thirst. Costs one and a black. It's an enchantment. Enchanted creature has lifelink, and whenever enchant or whenever the creature an opponent controls dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on this creature. Oh... Since we're in black, there's a good chance of just killing this stuff. We got a Child of Night that causes one and a black. It's a vampire that has lifelink. Has a 2-1 body. Agonizing Siphon causes three and a black. It's a sorcery. It deals three damage to any target and you gain three life. Sangron and Dungeons. Costs three and a black. It's a sorcery. This spell costs three less if you gain three or more life this turn. Return two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Get the Aetherborn. Costs two black. It's an Aetherborn vampire. It's a two three body. Death touch and lifelink. Blood or. Bloodbound Vampire costs two and two black for a Vampire Shaman ally. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one, plus one counter on Bloodbound Vampire. It's a 3-3 three, three body. It's also the future creature on the pack for it. Blood Host costs three and two black for a Vampire. It's a 3-3 three, three body. You can pay a black and one. Sacrifice another creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on Blood Host, and gain two life. Silver Smoot Goal. Ghoul. Silver Smoot. Silver Smoot Goal. Ghoul. Silver Moat Goal. Ghoul. Silver Moat Ghoul. Costs two and a black. It's a vampire. Or it's a zombie vampire. It's a 3 1 body. At the beginning 
of your instep, if you gain three or more life this turn, return it from the graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Add a black and or pay a black and one, sacrifice it, draw a card. There's a three one body. And the last card is Veto. Thorn of the Dusk Rose. Cost is two and a black for our legendary vampire cleric. Has a one and three body. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Pay three, add two black. Creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. Alright. So it looks like we're living that mono black action. We got some rogues being amped up by some vampire action. What do you think of the packs? Put it down in the comments down below. And if you're liking the content that we're pointing out, like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon to be notified about any of our future content. Say we end up having a cube, so we'll be able to see what we end up putting in there and slapping it together. Thank you for watching, and until next time, we'll see you later.